him, excuse you. I'm trying to look at some stuff. Are you helping? <sighs> so yesterday was pretty stressful. Um, Normally, I don't have stressful days, but yesterday was one of them. I woke up in Keystone, Arizona, and then I went to do um, errands. And then I drove about an hour and a half east on I-70, so straight downhill. And there were a lot, there was a lot of traffic, and the people in front of me were riding their brakes and you know I tried to put it in second and first and and then we then we exited Georgetown and my brakes were smoking so I had to sit there in Georgetown and wait for my brakes to cool down but that's okay because I got some errands done there too um, then proceeded to head east and then up to the north at a place called St. Mary's Glacier. There's a trailhead with a hike. All of the camping spots were taken. So then I looked up another campsite and all of those campsites were taken as well. There were 15 and it was um, the kind of camping where it has signs everywhere, do not camp anywhere other than a, a, an assigned dispersed campsite. And there were 15, they're all taken. And at this point, it was like 7 o'clock. So then I went down about 20, 20 minutes down the road to another campground, a paid campground. It was all full. And it's Thursday, it's not even the weekend, but it's summer in Colorado, so go figure. So then, and it was packed, oh my gosh, there were people everywhere. And there were no trees, so you could see everything and everyone. <laughs> There's no privacy, unlike here, which, let me show you around. This is a very large campground, but you can hardly see anyone because there's so much, so many trees. And you know, my, and then signal was spotty, so I was like, Arr! and it was getting dark and starting to panic because <clears throat> there were just there's just not a lot of options right here i was in the roosevelt national forest so then i came back down south to the arapahoe national forest and found this campground and luckily they had a spot open so yeah i got here at 8 30 went to bed at nine <laughs> i was so tired and I'm, I'm not thrilled that I had to spend $20 to park my van and go to sleep. But checkout is at 1. And I'm going to be waiting till 1 p.m. on the dot to get out of here. So yeah, it was, it was stressful and Drezzy was not happy because we, we had been on the road and he was itching to get out of the van. And that road at that Nederland camp, Nederland. Um, it was, I shouldn't have been, I shouldn't have gone down that road. It was a mess. I did get out of the van and walk down. And I'm glad I did that because they do not do winter maintenance on that road. But, um, it was a beautiful area. There were all sorts of different colored wildflowers and, and the sunset. Oh, it was gorgeous. I was really excited about that campsite, but. I will be headed out of Colorado soon and headed south. I know, right? I don't know what I was thinking. South in July, in August. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> um, but I am doing um, some house and pet sitting. So I have two gigs booked in the south. 
And the idea with that is to have a home base, free rent, free internet. All I have to do is watch their pets. Oh darn, I love animals. Um, and look after some light landscaping, you know, check the mail, da da da. So it's going to be nice. And most of the homeowners have gorgeous properties. And the two that I have booked, they are wonderful people. We've talked on the phone and we've gotten along and I'm super excited to not only help them and have meet new friends and meet new animals, but also to be able to wake up in the morning, open my laptop, have unlimited power and unlimited internet and work and at the end of the day, take a hot bath, explore a new area I've never been to. Um, so yeah, the, the main reason why I did this was to be able to work online. So, fingers crossed that this works out. I hope to get some more house sits. Um, a lot of people are okay with having space for your RV. Um, they don't have problems with me hooking up, making sure Drezzy's comfortable. Some people are okay with having Drezzy in the house, some people aren't, and that's fine. So, you know, I think this is going to work well for us. Because being in the van 365 is... I'm over it. <laughs> And I just can't justify spending more on the RV that I want. We'll see about that. So anyway, I think what I'm going to do from here is... Yesterday was 103 in Denver. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? When I go down south, it's going to be so hot. I don't know if I should take two weeks or one week and just power through. It's a 20 hour drive. But anyway, so I think from here I'm going to try to find a cell signal and then call my friend who's familiar with this area and say, Hey dude, do you know where I can boondock? It's Friday, so I really want to get settled for the weekend. Um, yeah, I haven't, even, I haven't taken my solar panels out in like four days, five days. I just want to get somewhere and get settled. I'm tired of driving, trying to find a place to camp, trying to place somewhere legal and legit. It can be a challenge, I'm not going to lie, guys. In certain parts of Colorado, it's it's a challenge, especially in summer. Kind of reminds me of California, to be honest. Okay, well. That's, that's it for me for now. But, don't worry about me, I'm fine, it's just, I woke up this morning feeling way refreshed and like, okay, why were you stressing out yesterday? This is a part of being a nomad, it's part of being on the road. So, I'm fine, just, you know. Well, I hope you all are doing well and enjoying your summer. And I will see you next time. Quazzy! <laughs> <laughs>